Hi everyone, this is Jom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. So we have already started this series on technical structures where we have completed how you can do the RCC detailing. And now we are all set to do the detailing of steel structures. So we have already covered a lot of points. So let's recap all these points. So we have learned how to model the foundation, then the how you can erect the columns over there. Then you have learned how to model the rafters and how to model the side rails. Then we have also learned how you can establish the connections between all these structural members. And in the last session, we have learned how you can like to model the side rails and how you can provide the bolted connection between the side rails as well as the columns. In this session, we are going to learn how you can provide the welded connections between the side rails and the columns and also we are going to learn how you are going to go for multiple selections so in this uh, video we will uh, like learn how you can select a particular parts or you can say particular model or a particular component in the steel structure so let's start so guys you can see over here if i want to like select anything then I can simply just click on that particular portion and that will be selected be it a like uh, member on the model or you can say even if it is a connection which is also known as a component in this particular portion. Okay, so we are going to learn how to do the different things. So for that, we can see we have this bar over here where we can just go for any particular selection. So if you are going to just select all, if it will be highlighted, then you can see a lot of points are highlighted over here and if you want to just go for the selection then you can simply go for this like uh, select objects in the components if i am just highlighting this then i can simply go to a component where we have modeled anything okay so let's say this one okay so i am just selecting the component if i want to select a particular bolt then i can select the bolts like this so you can see i can just simply select the component if i am just uh, like uh, not highlighting it and i am also not uh, clicking on select all and if i want to select this particular bolt then you can see i cannot select this particular bolt and now it is allowing me to make the changes in my model okay so if i am just uh, deselecting this then it will help me to work on any particular thing like if i want to reduce the size of the column then i can simply reduce it like this okay so like this i can just uh, like do the different modifications over here and it is only possible if i am working on a particular thing and not just the whole component over here so if i will just highlight this one suppose i will just show you i am also highlighting this one and now i am selecting on the columns now if i want to select the column by just clicking over here so this will not help me out with this like uh, i am just opening up all the portions of here and suppose i am clicking over here this is selecting the bolts and not the column and if i want to select the column only then what i am going to do i am just going to close the components selections and now i cannot select these components so wherever i will click on the column this will help me to simply select the column only and not the components so these components are clumsy and it are like um, it is a simple model and you can see there are a lot of components already over here because there is a junction between the side rail and the columns so uh, i will also have to place the bolts over there so yeah, in the last class, I have uh, told you that we will learn also about how you can provide the welded connection over here. So I'm just going to guide you over that too. So you can see this is the weld over here. And now I want to just provide the welded connections between the uh, this beam. This is actually a beam that I provided and this column. Okay. So now I have just selected them and I will just make the connections as a welded one. Okay, so I have provided the weld, but it is not visible over here. So what if I want to just make it visible? I will just go to display. And if you want to learn how you can use the display, then you can just watch the previous video. There I have already explained how to use the display option. So we have to just click on the weld. Then we have to go for exact and then click on modify and then apply and okay. And the welds will be visible. Now, if you want to select the welds, then you can just select the welds and you can delete the welds also. 
Now, if you want to provide the weld over here also, then you can simply just go for the weld, select the column and then the beam. And you can see the weld is provided. So like this, you can go for the welding of these things. We have to also provide the welds over here also. So we will provide the welds at these portions also because we have to provide it in all the side rails that are present over here. So we are going to provide it. So you can see the welded connection is uh, clearly being covered in this session. And if you want to learn how to provide the welded connection, then you can simply refer to this video. Next thing is that we can simply just select the first component, then the second component, then the first, then the second, and the weld will be provided. Okay, so it is very simple to provide the welds over here. Now, what I have to go for the next? So I was talking about the selection. So we will go over here and see what are the different things that are present in this selection option. Okay, so we can also switch the view and go for the 3D view to have a complete, uh, like, um, complete property of this uh, so i will just go to now next option that is select components so if i'm just highlighting this one then i can easily select the components and each and everything over there so these are the components that i have to select and i can easily select the whole component next thing that i have over here is this option so let's see select distances so if i am just marking any distance then i can go ahead and click on that and it will help me to just to select that distance okay next thing is select planes so if i'm working on different planes then i can simply uh, like uh, select them and uh, start working on them then if you are providing any kind of load i have not provided any kind of load over the, here in this model so if you are providing it then you can simply like uh, select the loads using this you have to simply highlight it and after that uh, you can change the load, you can just modify it, or if you want to remove it, then you can easily do that. Then we have the select four bricks. So that I have already explained in the previous uh, videos. Now is the time for the select single rebars. So let's say if I have provided the rebars over here. So I have not provided the rebars over here, but since I'm talking about the selection tools and I've already covered that in the previous session, so I'm just going to provide the rebars of the pad footing over here. So I'm not going to do the uh, much modification for this, but I'm just going to provide it in all the footings that are present in this model. Okay, so that we can learn about the selection of the single rebars as well as the multiple rebars over here. So it is very easy to provide the rebars. You can see all our rebars are already present over here. Now, if I am going for the selection of a single rebar, then I can highlight this one and I can start working on it if i'm selecting a single rebar then if i am going for the rebar group then i can select the rebar groups like this okay so you can see none other things are being selected over here just the rebars okay and if you will just uh, double click on it you can simply start modifying it also so just uh, get out of the point and now select a single rebar so this is a rebar group. So I have to simply select the whole group over here. Now, here is the next option that is select the rebar set. So if you have rebar set, then you can simply go for the selection of the rebar set. So how to do the selection of all these rebar sets and everything that I've already made a video while I was doing the concrete detailing and you can simply watch that video and use it in your model. Okay, next is the selection of a single bolt. So you can see I had a complete bolt over here so whenever i was selecting the bolts i was like uh, getting the whole bolt over here so i will just press ctrl and 4 and now let's come to the bolts okay so you can see i am just going for a single bolt selection over here so if i just choose this option select single bolt then i will get only one bolt over here and i can easily do the modification in that one if i will go for this option that is a select bolt group then I can simply select the bolt groups over here. Okay, so if you have the bolt group, then you can simply click on that and you will see that all the bolts are being selected over here. Okay, like over here, we have also the bolts. So we can just select the bolts like this. Okay, bait this one or bait this one. You can also try it with this one. So it is not visual from this side. It will You will have to rotate the model and then we can select them. 
so we can just go for the selection process like that then if you have want to select the views then you can just click on it and you have to just make sure that you have unchecked the select all portion next thing is if you want to select the welds suppose you want to select the welds over here and we have already provided the welded connection at this place okay so we can select the welds from here so we can again go to the display option and i can simply make the welds visible okay so for that click on modify apply and okay and now these welds will be visible so if you want to select these welds then you have to simply go for this option of selecting the welds so now i have unchecked it so i cannot select it but if you will just check it then you can see the welds can be selected and if you will double click on it then you will see that we have these options of welds where you can simply just go ahead and uh, like change that like over here this is around this is edge and we can simply modify all these welds okay so like this you can also do the modification in the welds if you are going for the proper selection so if you will just use the select tool then definitely you can simply go ahead and make changes in the particular like uh, model or in any particular column or any footing or you can say the particular component in this model okay then similarly we have to go for the select grid lines select threads and then the reference model if you have any if you have the construction line circles and everything then you can go for that so like this you can simply uh, like uh, choose between what you want to select what you don't want to select and you can scroll up these options and find each and everything okay so i will just keep it to select all and here i have defined already like what i want to select what i don't want to select so if you are uh, uh, like finding it any difficulty in like uh, i am just uh, clicking on any model but it is not getting selected then you can just come over here and check whether that icon or you can say whether that option is highlighted or not so guys in today's session we have learned how you can provide the welds how you can provide the reinforcement in the pad footing and then how you can go for the selection of a particular member or component in the class structures if you have liked this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel and if you want to take professional training from us then you can simply find a link in the description box you have to just go ahead register yourself over there and our team will connect with you and guys if you have made this uh, so far in this video then obviously uh, you are like our genuine viewer and there is an offer for you that if you want to start your career as a building consultant then you can watch the free webinar that is there in the description and you can book a free strategy call with us where we are going to guard you how you can start your own consultancy till then take care bye bye